In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the picture-in-picture -picture live streaming. So if you have a DSLR camera and you wanna connect it to your live streaming, but you also want to say, for example, do some gaming on your PlayStation 4, your Xbox or whatever, you can do that with your audience seeing you in the picture-in-picture. -picture. So you'll have you in the corner with your, so they can see your reaction and then they can see the gameplay at the same time. For this, you're gonna need the Elgato CamLink 4K by Elgato. So you're gonna use this to connect your DSLR camera to your computer so we can get the face cam like you can see here. And then you're gonna need the HD 60S Plus to connect your PS4, your Xbox, your console, whatever, to your computer so you can do your live streaming as well. You can also live stream to do other things such as you know if you're doing a presentation or if you're just reacting to something so it's not just gaming it's for any live streaming or live recording this video will help you do as always i'll have affiliate links in the description below of where you can get the elgato hd 60s plus capture card and the elgato cam link 4k so you can emulate this setup for your live streams or your video recordings so without any further ado let's get into the video Okay, so here you can see I've got my main setup here. I've got my Rode mic here, um, got my Mac here. We've got my monitor, my PlayStation 4 is set up, ready to roll. I've got my DSLR camera, which is connected uh, to the, with using the cam link, and that is connected to my actual iMac and we are streaming on Streamlabs OBS. We have our Elgato HD 60S Plus connected from my PlayStation 4 into my iMac, so it allows me to stream here. So now I'm gonna show you how we actually do the actual face cam, what you're seeing on screen. You're seeing me and you're seeing the gameplay as well at the same time. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm using Streamlabs OBS, okay? So if you look at the screen here, you can see we have Streamlabs OBS set up. You're seeing here my face cam and you're seeing my PlayStation here, okay? What I'm gonna do is just show you how to set that up. Because what we have here, if you look in this section here, we have different sources, but we have also different scenes, okay? so. Just for this demonstration, I'm gonna add a new scene. I'm gonna show you how to do all this now. So we'll add a new scene here. I'm just gonna call it demo. Okay, press done. Right, so now we have a new scene here. So within this scene, what we need to do is create some sources, okay? So first source we're gonna do, we're gonna get our PlayStation footage up on a screen for our live stream or our recording. Okay, so in the sources window, press on the plus icon, okay? And then this add source screen will come up, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna look for the video capture device, okay? So let's click on that, okay? And then add source. Now you can see it plays a little preview here. You can see the feedback from my PlayStation here and that's the video capture device. So we're gonna add the source here and now you see it pops up on screen. So this video capture device here is what the Elgato HD 60S Plus is actually um, capturing. So that is that, okay? So you, what you wanna do is you also wanna organize this fault sources folder here. Okay, so you can add a group. Okay, so if I call this game capture, press done. Now I have a folder and I can drag the video capture device here into here. So I know that anything in this folder is now regarding our game capture. Okay, and this is also helpful for when you have different devices such as audio as well as your face cam as well as your video capture device. Okay. So now we have our video game footage up now, main screen, so we can do some gaming, play some Ghost of Tsushima, it's my favorite at the moment. Now we have our game capture, let's add our face cam. So what you need to do is go to the sources, go to the plus icon, okay? And then go to add video capture device and then add the source. 
we scroll down here, video capture, now we can see we have our face cam. So now it's capturing from the cam link. So I'm going to add the source here. It says here, add new source instead. Okay, so that's if you want to add it instead, but we don't want to do that. So if you wanted to just add your face cam, then you would select here, but we're just going to press add source. Okay, and here you can see my face has popped up on the screen. What you need to make sure is that you have the clean HDMI output. So I'm just going to sort that quickly. So what you need to do on the Canon um, ATD is press the info button a couple of times at the back and that will get rid of uh, the metadata and it's still showing the autofocus. That's because the autofocus is on. So on the lens, which I have is a, a Canon EF, it's a 16 to 35. We need to switch that off. So I'm just going to switch it from autofocus to manual focus. Okay, now we have a, what we call a clean HDMI signal and there's nothing on the screen, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take these corners, um, hold in the option key, I'm just going to drag this and make it smaller, like so. Okay, and then we can place our face cam in any corner in which we want. So from example here, and what we do is we create another folder. I'm going to call it face cam. Press done and just drag that into there. So now with the face cam is on screen as we are also playing at the same time. Uh, what you need to make sure is when you have this folder, make sure that it's above this one because if it's not, then it'll, it, it works very much like layers. So if the other layer is above, then now you can't see me, okay? So make sure that the face cam is the above layer, like so. So now you can see me on the screen, okay? Now with this, if I show you my main source I have already, you can see here we have like different layers and things like that. So I have like a little border here. So with the face cam, if you look in the folder here that I have, you have different elements that you can add. Okay, so these are just different PNG files. So Streamlabs OBS comes with a lot of templates that you can add into your folder. And then you can just create these little patterns around your, your actual frame, okay? So for example, if I press this button here, then it hides it, okay? Press it again, brings it back, okay? And here you can reframe it, so if you hold the corners, you can make it bigger or smaller to adjust to your actual video, okay? But the good thing about having it in a folder like this, everything, if you scale the actual folder, you can move it around and everything moves together, you see, like so. So it's good to keep everything in a folder so that you can actually move all the elements at the same time so that you can have your border on screen as well, okay? How you get this actual footage onto the screen? What you wanna do is you wanna click on this cog icon here, okay? And with the device, it shows you the different devices. So here it's showing me the video output from the CamLink 4K. So if I have that, then I can select that as my option here. And here you can show, choose your resolution here as well, okay? Now, if I select the Game Capture HD 60S Plus, as it shows here, it's now showing me the footage from my games console here, okay? So that is how you would actually select your source. It will show you all the different sources that are available here, okay? So that's all the video captured sources that OBS is reading, and that's how you select the different captured devices that you need. So for one capture device, which is obviously what we're looking for here is our face cam. So we make sure that we have the CamLink 4K that's connected to our DSLR um, selected for that, okay? Then we create another source here by pressing the plus icon, okay? Video capture, because it's a video capture device that we're looking for add source 
and then you can see here it's already capturing the video capture device here so I can choose either the cam link or the uh, HD 60s plus uh, add that as the source okay and then just make sure that this layer is underneath the, the um, cam link layer so that now we have a picture in picture here so you can see my gameplay and you can see the actual device here you can see my actual face cam here now for more details on live streaming and live streaming gear check out this playlist that will help you out tremendously and get into more details on how to connect your camera and other live streaming gear that you might need to do your streaming or check out this video you might enjoy as well until next time this has been aston regis helping you tell your story through video peace